working position, lying with the deeper sacral side up, top side arm draped along your waist, underside arm cradling your head, the top side leg is back, the bottom side leg is forward, and the two are nested so that the back leg fits against the back of the front leg. What you'll see in this movement are several steps. First, a slight head lift to engage the side of the body up through the neck. Then a progression of arching and curling movements, lowering the head a little bit with each arch and curl. Three to six repetitions on each side are sufficient for a practice session. So in arching, the back musculature engages, and with curling forward, the front trunk musculature engages. So you'll see a series of repetitions. Head lift, then arching and flattening as you lower the head. You'll find that this movement has effects all the way down the trunk, down the length of the spine, and seeks to disengage a fixated trunk leg positioning We may also remove the underside arm in order to have further excursion possible for the neck and head as you lower. We start with the arm underneath to make it easy, and then as you gain freedom of lengthening through the top side, you remove the underside arm. A further fine point is you exhale as you lift the head and inhale as you arch and flatten with your head on the way down. When you switch sides, it's still the same leg behind the top side leg. You lift and turn your head so you feel the effort of lifting in your neck closest to the place just below your ear. <laughs> 